Howdy folks, Josh here with the Weekend Angler. Out here, got a little bit of free time today. I've grabbed a rod and reel, some white curly tail grubs, and I've headed out to the spillway. Tag along, let's see if we can find some fish. Pockets full of jar here. Oh, I think he got hooked. Oh yeah, he hooked. Little guy. Ah, uh, you got hooked in the side, didn't you? <laughs> All right, guys. First fish of the day. Little bitty angry gar. Sam. Little needle looking fish. We can get another one before we move on. Man, they're they're a nuisance, don't get me wrong. Gar nothing but a nuisance, but they're fun to catch. Uh, I think we snagged him more than anything else. He might have struck at it, but the hook got him in the fin, so. Ooh. That's a pretty one. Pretty and in the mouth. All right. Another gar. Come here. Come here. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Settle down. I want you guys to check out the coloring on this one, guys. Or the patterns, I should say. Look at that. Another little, another little gar. All spotted. Great. And I think he tore up my my grub, but I gotta take a look. And he about took the tail off my grub. 
So uh, we'll see how much longer we can get out of this one, but we're going to have to change grub bodies in a second. Think about them is, think about what these gar is. Once you catch one, it seems it seems like once you catch one of these things, it's like they go into a frenzy. You catch one, get one to bite, and you'll catch more of them. I say that as I fail to catch any more, but we got this little pool full of gar here. So what they're doing, guys, they're sitting in that slack water and uh, that set of rocks there is, is causing, giving them a little bit of slack water that they can, they can rest up in. And they're ambushing prey as it comes through those rapids. Oh, all right, we hooked up. As soon as we uh, threw out there, had a pretty nice gar just swim up to me a second ago. Huh? I don't believe that's a gar. Whatever it is, is snagged, but... Huh. A buffalo. Right through the fan, no wonder he... Uh... Hey, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> I threw right on this guy. And uh, as soon as I pitched up in there, it took off. And uh, we had him hooked in the, uh, in the dorsal fin there. So. Definitely a cool little pocket, and uh, that's one of the things I like about fishing spillways. Is you, you know you just get such a multi multi species, a big variety of species back behind these things, and uh, as it warms up in the summertime, you know it's almost June, water's getting warmer, but this this water that's moving through this spillway is oxygenated. Uh, they've got food coming through there. They've got nutrients, and uh, it stays a little bit cooler than the stagnant water does. So uh, you get a little bit more active fish, but it's fun to come down here and uh, wander around and see what you come up with. So uh, we're going to give it a little, probably another five minutes down here in this pool, and then we're going to move up to the deeper one. But uh, let's see what we can come up with here, see if we can get another fish before we uh, move on. There we go. Feels like a gar. Good reason, because it is a gar. <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. Bunch of little ones in here, too. Oh, there's one. All right, we'll put us some new jigs on here. It's funny what just a 
A white curl tail grub will do, guys. Be amazed at the number of species that will eat a white curl tail grub just because it looks so natural. You know, it, it looks like a little minnow, little bait fish. And they just can't resist. It comes through the water. Real subtle profile. Just kind of swims along. There's a gar. Right there. And he's breathing. Haha, <laughs> got him. Yeah. You shouldn't be messing around there. You're a nicer one. Come here. Come here. Hey. Hey. Easy. A little bit better one, guys. He was uh, just right out in front of me blowing bubbles. <laughs> so when I uh, uh, brought the jig through there, I stopped it right over him, jigged it up and down, and uh, he went after it. I kind of figured he would. There's definitely a lot of gar up in here. Let's move further up into the next pool and uh, see if we find any other species, something a little bit more gamey. Uh, these gar are fun, but I don't have a pair of pliers, and I know the time's coming where one of them's going to uh, get this hook good and good and inside them, and I'm not going to be able to get the hook out. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll just head up that way to the next pool and see what we can find. <laughs> Once again, we're on. Sneak patrol, guys. Need a big stick or something. Tell you one thing. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for ticks when I get home. It's in my tick heaven. Guys, look. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Remember this said? I'm going to catch those garks and any pliers. I just walked up here. And a great big long nose set of pliers. Cool. That, that almost makes up for my real breaking last time I was down here. So, uh,. Let's get our camera set up and uh, we'll be good to go here. Oh, there we go. Ah. Another guard.
guys, there's our first game fish of the day, a little bit of crappie. And, uh, my chest camera has overheated, so it's off right now, so we just got to deal with that one. Something swimming around with that fish in its mouth. More than likely, it's a snake. But I was eating that thing, but I don't know what it is. up and uh, fish the rapids up here. Alright guys, last time I was up here didn't work out that good. Guys, well, the gar have definitely moved back in behind the spillway here. And uh, aside from being a nuisance, they are rather fun to catch. Uh, sometimes it's tough to get that hook through their bony little mouth. But uh, when you do, it gets, definitely gets their attention. And uh, we kind of had air gar going on today several times with these things jumping completely out of the water. So uh, lots of fun back here. You know, one little crappie other than that, one buffalo and uh, several gar, so uh, not a bad way to spend an hour or two back here, just wandering the spillway, enjoying nature, and catching some fish. Guys, that's all I've got for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, take a moment, give it that thumbs up button, leave me a comment down below, tell me if you'd like to see more of these spillway fishing videos. I don't get out to these very often, but I do have fun when I come visit them. So if that's something you guys enjoy, let me know. Might have to make that happen a little bit more often. Uh, guys, if you're checking me out for the first time, hit that subscribe button and the little bell. That'll give you a notification every time I post a new video or go live. I do my short tip video every Saturday. That covers a fishing or boating related tip. We try to throw some fishing videos in between then and uh, have a good time. So, guys, take care. Until next time, we'll catch you out on the water. Appreciate you watching the weekend angle.